Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mayur Dada from Dell Photography School and in this video I'm going to be showing you uh, how to use the different light sources. So I'm going to be documenting an anti-aesthetic case and I'll be using a ring flash, a twin flash and these two studio lights with the help of my trigger. So, uh, so let's go ahead with it. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is prepare the patient means uh, get adequate retraction and use a contrast source. So let's see how to do that first. So we are going to be recording the uh, anterior aesthetic case obviously, obviously for upper anterior aesthetic case I just need to retract the upper lips I am going to be using the half cheek retractors This is how we use it, come So we will be retracting the first quadrant And then we will ask the patient to hold it And then we will retract the second quadrant And then we will ask the patient to hold it We will go ahead and take the contrastor and place it inside the patient's mouth The trick over here is not asking the patient to open too much Open if the patient opens too much, the cheek retractors come very close to the marginal gums, which we don't want. So we'll ask the patient to close. So we are quite clear from the marginal gums. So I'm going to take my uh, camera. Uh, firstly, I'm going to be taking a picture with a ring flash. So this is how it's going to be. Uh, what should be the composition like? You should have mesial thread of canine on both the sides. Okay. This is how it's going to look. Come, we have a look at how the picture is. Uh, so this is what uh, uh, a picture of the ring flash is going to look like. Uh, you can see there is a heavy amount of reflection on the centrals. Uh, now we'll go ahead and see how a uh, picture with a twin flash looks like. Yeah, so we are moving on to our twin flash. Whenever you use a twin flash, please ensure that the light source is from cervical to the incisor. So I'm going to be standing at 12 o'clock, right? So my light has to go from the cervical side to the incisal side. So the line angles only uh, get the reflections and that too the line angles will have reflections only in the cervical third. We don't want any reflection in the middle or the incisal thirds. That's why this is the um, this is a very good position to keep our flash on. So let's see how a picture with a twin flash is going to look like. Yeah, we ask the patient to close slightly. And that's it. Remove the contrastor as soon as the picture is over. Let's see how the twin flash picture looks like. Come. So this is what a uh, picture with a twin flash is going to look like. You can easily make out two light sources that have been used and they were laterally. And you can see that the reflection is in the cervical third, not in the middle of the incisal third. So this is why twin flashes are very good for anterior aesthetic documentations. Now we'll move on to the last light source for today. That's a studio light. So we're coming out uh, to the last light source that these are the studio lights. I use Elenchrome FRX uh, 200 but we also have 400 and 600 but I think for most of the clinical cases FRX 200 is more than enough. I'm going to be firing it with my trigger, Elenchrome trigger which is a radio trigger. So let's see how this picture looks with uh, uh, the studio lights. I'll just put the contrast inside the patient's mouth. Look upwards please. And then we'll take a shot. And we remove the contrast. Let's see how the image looks like. Yeah, so this is the image uh, with the studio lights. You can clearly make out that it looks much more glamorous as compared to the previous pictures. And you can see that there are, there are very subtle uh, uh, reflections. Means uh, the image, uh, the difference between uh, reflection and shadow is not very contrasting. It's a smooth, uh, you know, difference between the two. So this is how we make out where the light source is and how smooth is, how smooth the reflections are. So uh, studio light photography does look very, very glamorous. And I love to take studio light photography for anterior aesthetic cases. We're going to be learning a lot about all these things, different, different light sources, different, different cameras, different, different lenses in our forthcoming program that's going to be held at Bangalore this coming weekend. That's on 17th, 18th and 19th of August. I'll be looking forward to see you there. Okay, so let's let's meet up and learn more about photography. Thank you so much.